you are watching travel world online look at a certain metric is one of the largest airline or the largest airline in the world now uh we've been flying in india for more than 20 almost 20 years now um uh, and uh, i'm only grateful to the indian government for all the support that we've been getting so far um it's a pity that we cannot fly all the frequencies we had five flights a day earlier and uh, we had to bring it down to two flights because we cannot use the russian airspace although between us and india we all know there is open sky and uh, india remains a strategic market so the market for united airlines uh what mr paul touched upon in terms of the challenging issues uh, we are trying to address at our level in terms of the delivery of the aircrafts we getting almost one aircraft every two weeks two to three weeks we have in house academy to train the pilots to make sure that all the requirements uh, are taken care of uh when it comes to india uh you has when you think at the fta's the us has been contributing almost about 20% plus to total fta's to india and i think if i look at the pre covid numbers uh it was almost more than 1 million every year and uh, so united airlines is also very strong in terms of corporate business and we were very very corporate focused throughout so between india and us there's a huge uh exchange of corporate travelers uh post covid uh, things changed um and we have seen the situation has flipped a little bit and hence my my a lot of interest in this particular forum today because how it has flipped uh it has flipped in terms of tourism taking over the corporate travel so if you really look at if i look at my metric my figures the corporate travel has reached almost 70% of the total business of 2019 whereas the 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 leisure business and the visiting friends and relatives back to india all the indian diaspora and other people it has crossed 2019 levels so initially we thought it's going to be like pent up demand and the things will change but the way i look at it now in terms of forecast things are not looking back at all so it's it's growing uh, as we see it couple of observations that i have i speak to a lot of people uh, friends in the industry uh, and and we all know that the travel doesn't work in isolation so the corporate travelers the people who travel for the business they themselves their families they also travel for leisure so i was talking to one of my friends who is actually in the consultancy business his parents were traveling to india and since we have all the experts here in the industry and you can influence things one of the thing that was highlighted was that we need to do some things for the uh, travelers who are of the older age in terms of the facilities and all that so they travel uh, many times uh, but in terms of the facilities available the, the guidance available for the people who are beyond a certain age we can call them senior citizen and beyond uh, we need to work a little bit on that side at all the tourist uh, destinations and by the way if you look at the trends the people that i see who are traveling it's kind of you know the focus is more towards goa and kerala and i think it's going beyond and and the corporate focus remains in top tier one cities and then the and the pune and the hyderabad and other cities kind of follow them uh other thing which I, which we have seen app personally noticed is the people who are traveling here and again based on the conversation there's a lot of demand for the for the wellness and spiritual tourism and when we talk to our tour operators when i talk to my colleagues in us who are promoting uh together with the tour operators they say we need a little more education on that so uh historically you look, look at certain cities uh for the spirituality people come in but in terms of highlighting what you can do for the spirituality what should you what should they look forward to in terms of spiritual experience and wellness so while whether it's medical treatment whatever it is if we can highlight that and package it as, as a part of the tourism and i know all the influencers are here they can do that 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 be brilliant i think that that create a lot of education and and, and awareness um and yes i think we are, we are doing as united airlines as united airlines as much we can do our head office is also in touch with us india strategic partnership forum to bring in as much as awareness uh, and engagement and market exposure uh, possible for the india region uh, uh we we uh, from the government side i think we are very happy i i can always thank uh, uh the support that we got during covid times we were running repatriation flights every day there was air bridge between india and united states and i think we were able to fly every day it's a pity that we can't fly now and that's got nothing to do with india it's more russian air space that we can't use but just to kind of conclude uh, i would just repeat the same thing uh, the the focus on india remains very very strong 
we've got white bodies coming in uh, very fast and I think as, as we get more opportunity to fly to India, we would like to put up at least five flights a day back and maybe more in the future. You are watching Travel World Online.